Hey guys, welcome back to the Dose of Truth. For years, scientists have been fascinated by the potential existence of ex extraterrestrial beings in the universe. The subject has been the focus of scientific study and speculation for decades. There have been reports of sightings and encounters with these mysterious beings, and some claim to have been abducted by them. While there is still much uncertainty about their physical form, the possibility of communication with these extraterrestrial beings remains a hot topic of discussion. This fascination with alien life has been a popular cultural phenomenon, with countless fictional portrayals in movies and books. However, some allege that there have been government cover-ups related to alien visitations and the infamous Roswell incident. The Drake Equation and Fermi Paradox continue to be used to speculate about the likelihood of intelligent life beyond Earth. Area 51 has become synonymous with government secrecy and is rumored to be a place where the study of extraterrestrial beings takes place. Crop circles, the wow signal, and ancient astronaut theory are all phenomena that have been linked to potential alien civilizations. As we continue to explore for exoplanets and speculate on the motives and intentions of extraterrestrial beings, the possibility of interstellar travel remains a distant dream. Nonetheless, the impact that the discovery of alien life could have on human beliefs and culture is a topic that continues to captivate and intrigue the human imagination. I've written a short fictional story I would like to share with you. As the sun set on a warm summer evening, the small town of Millfield was suddenly thrown into chaos. A bright light illuminated the sky and a loud noise throughout the streets. People ran out of their homes, staring up in awe at the strange sight. In the middle of the town square, a large metallic object had landed. The townspeople watched in amazement as the door slowly opened, revealing a group of tall, thin beings with glowing eyes and long fingers. Despite their initial fear, the townspeople cautiously approached the extraterrestrial beings who seemed to communicate with them telepathically. They explained that they were from a far-off planet and had been sent to observe human life on Earth. As they explored the town, the aliens were fascinated by the way of human life. They watched as children played in the park, families gathering for dinner, and couples that would stroll hand in hand down the street. But as the night wore on, tensions began to rise. Some of the more paranoid townspeople started to fear the extraterrestrial visitors and the unknown intentions they might have. Soon enough, rumors of alien abductions and government cover-ups began to spread. The aliens tried to reassure the townspeople that they meant no harm, but their attempts to communicate only made things worse. The situation quickly escalated into chaos, with people frantically searching for weapons and barricading themselves in their homes. Just as the situation seemed like it was about to boil over, the aliens suddenly packed up their ship and took off into the sky. The townspeople watched as a metallic object disappeared into the horizon, leaving behind only questions and uncertainty. For years to come, the people of Millfield would remember that warm summer night as the day they encountered beings from another world. Some would see it as a sign of hope for humanity's future while others will be left a lingering fear of the unknown. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you startling news from the Pentagon. In a draft report last week, officials suggest that aliens may be visiting our solar system and deploying smaller probes similar to NASA missions. When studying other planets, the report authored by Sean Kirkpatrick and Abram Loeb focuses on unidentified aerial phenomena and the possibility of interstellar objects releasing mini probes as they pass by Earth. Scientists are investigating the potential existence of these probes, which could be missed by survey telescopes due to their lack of sunlight reflection. This report comes at a time when UFO sightings have been under scrutiny in the U.S., raising even more concerns about the existence of terrestrial life, extraterrestrial life. So guys, I'm going to get into the article right now. It's one that we've found coming out of Fox. Pentagon officials suggest alien mothership in our solar system could send many probes to Earth. A new research paper in draft form comes from the Pentagon's All Domain Anomaly Re Resolution Office. So I wondered what that is, the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office. 
The All, Doma the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, the AARO, is a recently established department within the Pentagon that's responsible for tracking objects in the sky, underwater, and in space. Its mission is to detect, identify, and report on any anomalous objects or activities in these domains that may pose a potential threat to national security. The AARO focuses on Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, UAP, and investigates any reports of UAP sightings encountered by military personnel. The department's goal is to provide a better understanding of these phenomena and to develop new strategies for identifying and responding to potential threats. Here we go. Pentagon's, Pentagon officials said in a draft document last week that aliens could be visiting our solar system and releasing smaller probe-like missions conducted by NASA when studying other planets. How interesting is that? It's the idea of the mobile carrier in the sky releasing all the other smaller ships, you know, whether manned or not, to, you know, do reconnaissance or whatever. Who knows what they're... Uh, if you've ever played the video game No Man's Sky, you, you know, you... You, part of it, part of the fun of the game is exploring. Part of it is the the low level intelligence quizzes, uh, the finding new languages and learning how to speak the new languages, um, and then mining. Uh, so you know it's got a bit of industriousness, though it's just a video game. It, you know it would kind of serve the the same purpose uh, as the carrier ships in that. A draft research report authored by Sean Kirkpatrick, the director of the Pentagon's All Domain Resolution Office, and Abram Loheb, chairman of Harvard University's Astronomy Department, was released on March 7th and focuses on the physical constraints of unidentified aerial phenomena. Here we have a, uh, a picture. I think it's an artist's rendering. Let's see if we can blow that up a little bit. Uh, looks like the Pope's face is blown up, too. What's up with that? He might have to stop eating salt and sugar. Oof. Poor guy. Looks like a uh, looks like a rock to me, but what better thing to disguise your ship as than a rock? All right, an in, an artificial interstellar object could potentially be a parent craft that releases many small probes during its close passages to Earth. An operational construct not too dissimilar from NASA missions. The report read. These dandelion seeds could be separated from the parent craft by the tidal gravitational force of the sun or by maneuvering capability. The AARO was established in July 2022 and is responsible for tracking objects in the sky, underwater, and in space, or possibly an object that has the ability to move from one domain to the next, like the one in uh, question here, the uh, Oamuamu. I believe it's called. We will find out in a minute. Congress tasked NASA to find out 90% of all objects near the Earth that are larger than 140 meters in 2005, which resulted in PanSTARRS telescope, according to the report. We got some Tic Tac stuff here. What's going on? On October 19, 2017, the PanSTARRS detected an unusual interstellar object that was later named Oamuamu, or Scout in Hawaii. I think I'm saying that right. U Umuamua? Or maybe Oumuamua. China's top diplomat called... Oh, sorry, that's another article. The object was cigar-shaped, appeared flat, and was propelled away from the sun without showing a cometary tail. Leading scientists believe it was artificial. I'm going to leave the link in the article for you guys below. I'm not going to restate the whole article, but uh, I thought I would summarize a little bit of that, give a bit of fictional story, and also what you can expect as far as the alien slash paranormal activity uh, content that we'll, we'll have on the, the channel. We'll be talking about um, the potential existence of other life in the universe, the subject of scientific study and sci uh, speculation, you know, possible visitations on Earth. We watched a uh, bit of a Lear documentary and how he claimed that there were over 70 different races on planet Earth, though, who who really knows, you know, his father being CIA, what better person to disseminate disinformation would be the child of a intelligence officer. We'll be talking about the popular culture fascination in regards to extraterrestrial and paranormal activity, the possibility of communication with said paranormal activity and extraterrestrials, whether that be through technology or through natural forms of telepathy, the search for intelligent life, 
is it out there? Because sometimes I wonder if it's out there as well as in here. Reports of sightings and encounters. That's it. I want to thank you guys for sticking with me today. As always, I'm your host, Mike. Please like, share, leave a comment if you find any of the information interesting. Let me know if you've had any paranormal experiences in your life, extraterrestrial or otherwise. You know, did you get abducted? And uh, as always, we'll see you on the next one.